It's been a rough ride for Frontier these past years, but they finally announced that they will soon be revealing the future plans for Elite Dangerous. This is going to take place on their new monthly livestream, set to begin next week. Now, the livestream itself is a big deviation away from how Frontier have operated these streams previously, and it seems likely that this is a result of the massive shakeups that the company has been going through. Additionally, members of the Elite dev team have recently been laid off, which suggests that the development team is continuing to shrink. In this video then, I want to go through what all of this means. Things for Frontier are changing substantially, but what does this mean for Elite Dangerous and what does it say about their previous promises for the game? Let's start then with what we know. Update 18 for the game has been confirmed. A former dev has publicly said that the update will contain one of the coolest things that they have ever done in Elite. The release date for the patch hasn't yet been revealed, but it seems that Update 18 is the thing Frontier are most likely going to be discussing on next week's livestream. Now, the livestream itself is interesting in the sense that it is a new format for Frontier. For many years now, Frontier have dedicated livestreams for each of their games. In the case of Elite, these livestreams were weekly for a very long time. In recent times though, especially since Frontier started having significant financial problems, these live streams have been cut back and even outright stopped. And whilst there's no official word that the change in frequency of the live streams is directly related to the company's financial issues, the timing of the changes seems to certainly suggest it is likely. In either event, Frontier are now moving completely away from the multiple dedicated live streams for each game and are instead going to be doing one single live stream per month. The live stream is called Frontier Unlocked and it will be dedicated to Frontier's entire portfolio of games. That means no dedicated elite live streams. Now Frontier have said that this makes it easier for them to place all news information into a single easy to access source. Yet it's hard to deny that this also feels like the result of the company's ongoing restructuring and downsizing. Personally, to me, it feels as though it's far cheaper and resource efficient for Frontier to run a single monthly live stream rather than multiple live streams. Now the reason I focus on this point is because I actually feel that Frontier's restructuring is going to have a similar impact right through their company, and not least of all upon Elite Dangerous itself. Now obviously, we really need to wait for Frontier's reveal before we can be certain of what's going on with the game throughout 2024, but I feel it's also important to be aware of Frontier's current situation and that maybe we should temper our expectations accordingly. So as I've said multiple times before, I don't believe Elite is in any danger of being shut down, the game isn't dying, but also don't expect to see any large updates or full scale expansions for the game. Personally, I think that the days of very large updates to the type we used to get well, many years ago are far behind us. Of course, that is just my opinion and let me know what you think about this in the comments section. So to be clear, whilst it's just my opinion, it isn't an opinion that I've just pulled out of air randomly. A recent hint of Frontier's potential feeling towards Elite Dangerous can be found in their latest financial report. Now, some out there might decry this as a doomsaying, but at this point, the claims of dooming on Elite are a meme. They mean nothing that, uh, well, when people actually claim someone is dooming, it doesn't actually mean anything now. The phrase has been used so far too much that it's now a meme and is completely meaningless. Ultimately, facts are facts, and the facts paint an interesting, if somewhat muddy, picture. And here is that picture. The company released their interim financial report last week. This is something they do every year around the same time. The report is aimed at shareholders and gives them an update on the company's position. Usually, it outlines very brief future plans and contains financial information. The latest report confirms that Frontier ran an operating loss of £30 million, and we can see that in the official table directly from the report right here. So yeah, what we see in this interim report for the most part all throughout this report really does confirm what Frontier announced all the way back in November in their business update. However, one thing really stood out to me, and this was the distinct lack of reference or mention to Elite Dangerous. In fact, the report didn't mention Elite Dangerous at all. Further, it didn't mention the space game genre either. Now, I found this interesting because Frontier have always mentioned Elite Dangerous. In every single interim report since the very first one all the way back in 2014, Frontier have always mentioned directly Elite Dangerous. And this is the first time since the company going public that they didn't reference the game. Is that significant? Does it mean anything? 
Well, it's impossible to tell, but it's very clearly it's a departure from their previous stance on the game. The good news is that despite this interim report being largely negative in terms of uh, Frontier uh, not running at a profit, the market reaction has been very subdued. In fact, there was a slight increase very early on last week on the share value, hitting some of the highs that the shares have previously hit, hit during uh, December of 2023. And then more interestingly, in the past few days, and this would be a very delayed market reaction to the report, so maybe something else is going on, the shares have jumped up to around about £1.60. Elsewhere, in very much related news, more members of the elite development team have left the company. This is a part of Frontier's depressing news on layoffs. Over the past few days, both Tom Cowell and uh, Ben Hennessy have announced their departure from Frontier, and thus Elite. It's sad to see them both go, and they both put a lot of great work into the game. That's something that most of us would have seen if we'd been playing the game recently. The good news, however, is that on Twitter, Tom confirmed that Update 18 will contain one of the coolest things that they have ever done in the game. So we know that Update 18 is 100% in existence, and that it's going to be on the way soon. But what about the rest of 2024? Well, for now, what we know is entirely unclear. At this point, we have had around about 18 months worth of updates that are focused exclusively on the Thargoid War. My hope is that Frontier finally moved beyond this in 2024. I'd like to see a broader scope of updates focusing in on other areas of the game that are, well, none Thargoid and none Combat-centric. That said, I still remain unconvinced that any future updates for Elite will be of a significant size. Whilst it's possible that we might get more updates on the scale of updates 16 and 17, it's also very clear that Frontier have seen massive cutbacks and have restructured a lot of their company. Additionally, we know that a number of key members of the Elite dev team have now left the company, and due to the nature of the law and redundancies here in England, that means these roles cannot legally be filled with other people. It's reasonable to assume then that Elite, the Elite dev team is now smaller than it was this time last year. What does that mean for the game? Well, my feeling is that Frontier will announce the new content in Update 18, and this will come alongside the additional announcements that are vague and lack detail and specifics. This certainly won't be the first time they've done such a thing in recent years, and would follow their usual MO. Of course, though, I hope I'm wrong. After all, this is just my opinion, but it's based on what's happened in the past. Here's a look at the roadmap Frontier released all the way back in 2022, You'll notice that it's suitably vague and doesn't commit them to all that much. However, one thing that really stood out was the key feature overhaul scheduled for the first half of 2023. Obviously, that never arrived. Now, around mid-2023, Frontier announced they would give more details on this overhaul later in the year, which at that point was obviously going to be delayed. But here we are in 2024, and Frontier never gave any further details. The question then is, will Frontier announce the key feature overhaul is now going to take place in 2024? And if they do announce that, will people even believe them at this point? Alternatively, will they simply ignore it and never mention it again? It's also worth pointing out that there have only historically been a very few occasions in the Elite Dangerous's lifespan that Frontier have kept plans beyond the next immediate update a secret. Whilst in the past that has ultimately been a sign that the game went into a long period without updates, that doesn't necessarily mean that this is going to be the same story this time. My feeling then, ultimately, is that I'm curious to hear what Frontier have to say about Elite in their new livestream. I also feel that if their information contains a solid information on Update 18 alongside vague promises for the future, that this will ultimately be very disappointing. I won't be uh, well, too impressed with that overall. My hope then is for a solid detailed roadmap for 2024 that gives us an indication as to what to exactly expect in Elite with uh, updates 18 and then beyond. Hopefully we're going to see more than just one or two updates this year. In short, it'd be really nice to see a roadmap that Frontier can and actually do stick to. Let's see how it goes. Meanwhile, check out these other videos on the screen right here. I'll catch you all next time.